All right, so the GUI is now the way I want it. The application runs, it is behaving the way I want it to behave, but the design is not the way I want it. What I really want is that there is one class that is just for a set of classes that is responsible for the graphical user interface. This is this GUI class. And another set that is responsible just for logic, not for any user interaction. And I've called that the guessing game logic. It was called guessing game before. And it just handles the logic. It should not handle any uh, interaction with the user. And the thing that pulls it all together, the interface and the logic, should be this go-between class. It's sometimes called a controller, uh, a driver, and I've just called it the guessing game right here. So I'm going to make some updates. I'm going to move some stuff into the, um, the guessing game class. So first of all, this here should just be responsible for the interface, not handling events. So I don't want this GUI class to be the one that implements the action listener. It's not going to respond to button clicks. So I'm going to move it out of the GUI class and move it into the go-between. The go-between is now the one that listens to action events, or it should be the one. So it needs the method that does the work. So I'm going to pull that method out of here and move it into the guessing game class. One more thing, it's the go-between that is responsible for handling and running the game. So let's move the main method out of this GUI class. It's just managing the interface. It doesn't run the application. So I'm going to move that out of the GUI and move it into the go-between. Another thing is the graphical user interface should not need to be aware of the logic. So let's move that out of here as well. The logic is going to go into the go-between. So the go-between now has the GUI and the logic and gets the two together. Almost done. Since I have moved the listener to the guessing game, I need to import them there as well. And let's make sure everything is okay. So I have the guessing game is a, a J-frame. It has an entry field and a message label. I'm setting everything up. I'm creating the content panel. I'm creating the message label. I'm creating the text fields or putting it in there. And now I have my J button, my button. The only problem is, is that I'm still saying that the person or the class, the instance that wants to be informed when the button is clicked is this class, the current class I'm in, which is no longer the case. I need somebody else to do this. I don't know who here. I shouldn't need to know who. So all I know is I need some kind of a listener. And I'm just gonna, since I don't know it here, I don't have any control over it here, I'm gonna demand that it's passed in as an argument. So this is now the action listener is going to be passed in as an argument. All right, that takes care. Everything is nice and clean in my GUI. It just takes care of the interface, nothing else. All right, so it implements action listener. Let's make sure everything is okay over here. If I look at action performed, I'm noticing here that I'm going through the entry.txt. I don't have the entry here. It's in the graphical user interface. I need to grab it through the graphical user interface. But it is sitting right down here. Uh, that doesn't really help me much. So I need this to become an instance variable. So now that it's an instance variable, I, I don't have access to the entry box right away, but I do have access to the GUI itself. So I'm just going to ask the GUI to give me the text that is in that entry field, and I'm going to have to create that method now. So the, the get text method I want, I want from it is whatever the user entered in the text field. So I'm just going to return entry.getText. 
Again, it doesn't, it just says if you want the text, there you go, you can have it. It's not responsible for managing the flow in any way, shape, or form. Um, I do have access to the logic, so that will manage the guess and will give me the message. Now, again, the message label, I don't have the label. I'll have to go through the GUI, and instead of saying set text, I'm going to say set message and pass it the message that I want to be displayed in the GUI. The GUI is responsible for that display. So I pass this message in as an argument and it's just going to put the, uh, the message in the label. It doesn't need to know what or how, why this message came about. Just whenever it's told to display a message, it will just display a message. Alright, so everything is nicely set up for the action performed. And it it's become a really nice go-between between, between the logic and the GUI. Let's try to compile this now. I've made a lot of changes. A couple of errors. Ah, yes. Remember that the GUI needed to have an action listener passed in as an argument. So let's start with that. This here GUI needed an argument. Well, who is now the one that is the uh, the action listener? This, the guessing game class that I'm creating. All right. So let's see if this will compile. Ah, uh, yes. So GUI. In the main method, I am accessing that GUI class. I can't because I'm in a static um, context there. I don't have access to instance methods. So I do really need access to those instance methods. How am I going to get access to that? Well, by creating an instance. Notice that I've never actually created an instance of the guessing game class. Um, so nothing will ever happen. So let's do that right here. Create it. And now I can access the GUI instance variable through the game. Because game is an instance um, and I can access the instance variable through here. Save this and see if this will fix the rest of my problems. And let's try to run this now. And let's make sure that all the functionality is still the same. Excellence and error message. Um, the guess. Guess one is too high. So let's go a little lower. Still too high. Let's go to one. Oh yeah. So on my third guess, I got it right. And what I've managed to do now is to separate the, the interface from the logic of the game and create this nice little go-between. The only thing that still really needs to be done is in this logic class, I still have user interaction in here, namely the interaction if I wanted to play a text-based game. So this really still needs to be pulled out. This, in a sense, is a much easier one to do, but I'll leave that for the next video.